The transport window found under the window menu displays controls, counters and indicators for Protol's current transport state. The transport window can be expanded to show more controls, but we're just going to look at the main elements. Return to zero takes the insert point back to the beginning of the session. Press return on Mac or enter on Windows to return to zero. The next two buttons are rewind and fast forward. A click and hold will rewind or fast forward the insert point through the session. Clicking will rewind and fast forward by an amount determined by the main counter type, in the case of bars and beats by one bar. Go to end will take you to the last point in the session with any track information. Clicking stop will stop the current playback or record. Play starts playback and starts record when used with the record button next to it. Both the playback and record buttons have options revealed by right clicking. Record puts Pro Tools in standby mode to record onto any record enabled tracks. Next to the record buttons are indicators to show if any tracks in the session are record or input enabled. The main counter will set the time or position reference, bars and beats, minutes and seconds, time code, feet and frames or samples. There is an additional sub counter to have another time measure displayed at the same time. 